Hello everyone, I am Amit, a computer science educator from India and uh, in our remote learning series today we are going to learn how to create an effective uh, quiz using Google Form. Let's start with it. First of all, we'll type forms.google.com in our browser as I've already signed in into my Google account. So this kind of screen will automatically appear. If you are not signed in, it will ask you to sign in. So I'll click the black quiz tab here. It will take me to a black quiz uh, over which I can design my own quiz. Uh, before uh, starting a quiz, it's very important to um, customize your quiz with the title uh, you want. Like I want computer network. So it's done. A little description is always optional but I may write uh, a quiz to test your knowledge Oops. Uh, about computer networks. It depends what do you want to write. After that, I want to collect the email IDs of, of my students also in order to identify whosoever has attempted that quiz. So I'll go to setting and in the general setting, I'll tick the collect email address buttons. So there are other settings also, but this is used to collect email addresses. Uh, that now. The first thing, the email uh, address setting is already there. Now I'll come to my first question. So there are various type of question I can create. By default, it's multiple choice now. So I can uh, have short answer type question also, paragraph question also. And this checkbox, drop down or uh, multiple choice, they are similar kind of questions. So I'll go with the multiple choice only. Option one is there. Uh, and uh, here is my question like uh, set of rules which governs the communication over a network is called now what do we call them we call them maybe forum and another option like standards and another one like agency, something like that, like another one, like protocol, okay, this one, now we have four options, now what is the right answer, as a, uh, we'll go to the question answer key here, and it allows you to set the point for the question, I'll uh, give it a one point, now add answer feedback, in this answer uh, feedback, I'll write if one uh, attempts the incorrect answer, it will uh, show that protocol which is the correct answer and if one attempts a correct answer, I will give him a feedback like well done. So it's like, so now it's time to select the correct answer that is protocol and you can see uh, tick, green tick is there. So my feedback for the correct answer is well done and my feedback for the incorrect answer is protocol. So uh, I'll click the done button here as the question is required, one, no one can skip this. So I'll check the required box and I, if I have multiple questions, I can have uh, this shuffle option so that uh, my questions and, 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 uh, and the uh, order of the uh, answer uh, will be shuffled here. So now next, in order to have a similar kind of uh, multiple choice question, I'll just click the duplicate button. So I'll have another question. I'll uh, change this uh, statement of the questions like dash is a network which covers entire city okay uh, land i'll ch change the answer options man uh, van and pan now it's time to edit the answer key 
I want to keep at one point, it's okay. I want to edit it to man, it will be edited. And pan is removed now. Uh, and uh, for the correct answer, I have a feedback called uh, well done. For the incorrect answer, I will give metro written area network that is man that kind of uh, description from my side for the student to help him get there so it's done so my correct answer is done feedbacks are done I click the done button the required is already done and I'll uh, the shuffle options also there so this is the way I can uh, uh, create a, a multiple choice question faster now I can choose the duplicate option but uh, if I if I want to go for uh, another type of questions like uh, short answer or want to add questions so there is a plus button to add a question also so I can uh, take the no this option also so in this way I have uh, created a small quiz now I'll go to my theme button it allows me to set uh, the theme uh, for my um, quiz as well as I can choose some image also from my computer or some themes are available there and to make the quiz uh, a bit customized uh, as per uh, students requirement so it will help them get there easily and understand the things quite well so I'll go with this pics I have some pics already downloaded there maybe this kind of uh, pic would be appropriate so there is a frame done and this pic will be uploaded as my quiz background a little background uh, it's only to help the students uh, to give a customized look to my quiz so the quiz is ready now i'll sh sh share this quiz with my student i'll take the send option from the send option here is my link generate button i'll shorten this url this url i'll copy and uh, now I'll, I'll open another window where as a student i'll use this link to attempt this quiz so what you will see here that uh, what a student will see when he get this link so he will be able to attempt my quiz and as a teacher I would be able to evaluate okay now see this is the quiz uh, from the student sent so the email ID is required say amit.nfu and uh, he may choose protocol the right answer here we can go for a wrong answer like pan so what kind of uh, feedback he will get after submission so he will view his score so see here then he click the view score button protocol it's all correct and he get a well done feedback and on the second one he got metropolitan area network as the correct answer so in this way he will be able to get the feedback now as a teacher I'll be able to get the response uh, response button is there so I'll have got one response so I can review them as per question also uh, as I can review them as per individual that so and so individual has attempted this question one correct one incorrect even I can get the responses in the form of a spreadsheet where uh, I can see the response of students here in this way so it's a great way to get response and email ID is also get collected there and score is mentioned one out of two and uh, this is the cover title of the quiz I have to rename also it also like this with networks so now this quiz is done so I'll, it is uh, as it's I'm working with the Google app so it is auto saved so this is done so it's all easy to create it's such a simple way to create this quiz thank you so much ask me for any question
and the command box.